Hey everyone, so I am super excited to be joined once again by my E3 buddy, and we're so glad we get to do this every year. Once Scott a year. Brody. Once or should a year. I say, Scott Brody? Brody. <laughs> it was very cute that you guys all did that. Okay, so let's get right into it. Press conference was huge. Hour and 45 minutes of just amazing content, one after another. What most excited you? There's so many ways I can answer that. So <laughs> the fact that we, got time. Uh, <laughs> we have a lot of time. So uh, revealing uh, the lichens in the order, that was very exciting to me that the enemies in that game have been kind of shrouded in this cloud of mystery for a long time. And for everyone to be able to see that transformation in the game now yeah. gives me chills to think about that. And then uh, we can go right into Entwined oh after my gosh. that. So what an exciting story for me to see those those kids, I will always call them kids. <laughs> uh, they were all in school a year ago. And then they're up on stage uh, in the biggest press conference of the show, releasing their game to the world on the spot. So talk a little bit about that. Yeah. How did you get involved with these? It's two schools, right? Of two different yeah. uh, video game design schools that you got involved with? Well, specifically what happened was um, our San Mateo studio, headed by Connie Booth, um, they got involved with CMU. Um, and they have a video game program there, and we put a little investment in there to sponsor that program. And most of those kids are from the, uh, the first graduating class. Uh, they came in, they had a, a game jam, essentially, and came up with all sorts of concepts. And this is the one we all, uh, we all went for. Um, and over time, uh, it just evolved into this beautiful game. They, had, they were mentored by industry veterans on That's the team. So cool. In fact, our art director, Jeff, on this, on this project, uh, he also a, teaches a class at San Jose State. So he brought a couple of his ACE students in to do some of the artwork towards the end. So that opening sequence with the bird and the fish that was done by these twin girls from San Jose State. Oh, cool. it's, just a, it's just a heartwarming story from start to finish. And it's I'm so, so happy that it's too. real now. Yeah. yeah, it's so beautiful. And the fact you guys were able to release it like during the press conference, yeah. you can order it now and go home and it'll be waiting for you by the yeah. time you get home. That was really special. That was exciting. We call that our Beyonce moment. It was yeah. very cool. <laughs> Did they freak out when they got off stage? Were they all nervous? They freaked out before they went on stage, after. So as, I love this story. As we're walking out, um, uh, we're walking out from behind the press conference in the, in the maze of curtains back there. And as I'm letting them out, Kojima walks by. Oh my and gosh. they brush shoulders with Kojima. And they, he, 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 he. They, could, <laughs> he they didn't know what to talk. It was awesome. It was That's awesome. so cool. Yeah, it was good. And it's such a beautiful game. You know, it, it could come across when you're looking at it as, as some, somewhat simple, but it's really not. It's really complex. And the fact that you have to control each, the, the bird and the fish, with the different, you yeah. know, controllers on each side and make them work together. Yeah. It's a, it's, Abstractly, it's a really beautiful story, but as far as gameplay, it's a really interesting design. It is, and it's different every time. It's very zen. There's a really cool challenge mode that isn't very zen. It's very, it, it, you know, you want to try to beat everyone and beat your friends. It's very cool. Very cool game. That's a very cool game. Yeah. I know Ryan has a lot more coming up with them later. Yeah. So now after that, the beautiful zen-like quality of that game, let's uh, transition into Bloodborne. Oh, my uh, goodness. That game is bloody and gory and beautiful all at the same time. It is, and yeah. it's hard to say that about a game, but literally about an hour ago, I just saw the latest that we have here at the show. It absolutely blew my mind. Everyone in the room sat there with their jaws dropped because it is, like you said, it's so beautiful. When, you, when you're attacking these boss monsters, they're just dripping with grittiness and, and there's blood. I mean, it's a very appropriate oh, yeah. name. It's a very oh, appropriate yeah. name. Let me just leave it at that. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, those guys at From Software, I mean, they really have something special there. I'm really excited to see what people think about Bloodborne. I know. We've been saying that the line here in yeah. the booth yeah. is just wrapping around I see and the around. line right now. Yeah, it I doesn't mean, even it's... look like a line. It's more like a cluster. Yeah, they're waving. Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's just like a big cluster in front of yeah. that booth. And it's been that way the entire time. That's and awesome. It's just the morning of day two. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, I know. There's not a lot about out about it. But the, what people are seeing about it, they're really excited. Very cool. Yeah, Anthony made a joke on, uh, on Twitter during the press conference that he squealed as loud for Bloodborne as I did for a little Big Planet 3, <laughs> which uh, that was, pretty, it was pretty cute. But you know what exciting. else I want to talk about? I'll, yeah. just, I'll just go for go it. Go for it. Let's do it. No Man's Sky. Yeah. Uh, so this was a game that's uh, done by Hello Games, something that was uh, signed by Shahid over in our, um, in our uh, European office. Um, something we're so proud of. I mean, these guys 
have done something utterly amazing. There are four people on that team. And to look at the scope of just the landscape and know that there's only four people working on that game. It's I, unbelievable. The, the creativity blows my mind. It's unbelievable. And again, similar to what I said with Entwine, to see those guys come onto the show floor and see their creation up on one of the world's biggest screens, on the world's biggest stage, they were just blown away, and I'm so happy for the team. Well, and it looks it. amazing. Can't wait to play it. I know. He had me, yeah. Robert Heinland, when he was talking about it in the intro. And I was like, stranger in a strange land? Sign me up. I'll be there. <laughs> it looks gorgeous. Yeah. Okay, so what else? What about that's coming up? I know we've got some things that are going to be released throughout the summer and coming into the fall. What are you most looking forward to playing? I know you don't get a lot of time to play. I play a lot. I, I, I'm very excited. <laughs> make I, the time. <laughs> I, that's right. You have to make the time. I mean, I talked about it earlier. Um, I'm excited about Infamous First Light. Speaking of playing a lot, proud to say that I have earned my platinum trophy in oh, Infamous good, Second very Son. Very cool game. Um, wow, Octodad is clapping, clapping for me right for now. It's very cool. <laughs> Thank you, Octodad. <laughs> um, so uh, Infamous First Light is something I'm very much looking forward to towards the end of the summer to see, learn a little bit more about Fetch. Yeah. and kind of learn about her origins and see how that plays into the story. Very excited about that. Very cool. Also excited. About, I mean, I could talk here for a long time, so what? be careful here. Hey, until they cut so. you off, you just keep going. <laughs> so um, one of the things that we're debuting here at the show is a little title from Valkyrie Entertainment called Guns Up. Yes. That's going to be a free to play. Have you taken a chance to look at this? No, we've, yeah. we've seen it, yeah. but I've not had a chance to play it. I love that there's like this resurgence of games like that. They're oh. all coming back, and it's amazing. Highly recommend when, when you're on one of your little breaks, not that you have many, right. but go check this out because um, it's amazing. It's so incredible to easily to pick up, right? You just, uh, anyone can come up. You don't have to have anyone explaining to you what to do, and everyone that has seen it has absolutely loved it. It's sort of a side-scrolling... RTS-like uh, cartoony military strategy game. I don't even know how to put I think, it. No, that's actually, I think that's a really good explanation about <laughs> it. Everybody loves it, so highly recommend you check it that out. It's so fun. It is. It's like, well, there's been this huge you know, resurgence in the past like five years, whatever, of casual gaming, and a lot yeah. of people are getting into it. And I think games like that make gaming more accessible to people that maybe are not so you know, yeah. in-depth with a controller. Absolutely. And they can just yeah. pick it up. They don't want to get into a big narrative story. Something like that would be, just be so fun. It's one of, the things I love on about, one of the things I love about PlayStation is that you've got these amazing games like, like the ones I'm seeing right here in front of me, like Bloodborne and Drive Club, which, by the way, looks absolutely amazing yeah. now, too. And now they're throwing yeah. weather in there. As if I wasn't ah. bad enough at driving games, and now you're changing <laughs> the weather conditions on me? Oh, here, we're going to give you a slippery and track, Mare. Great, thanks. <laughs> by the way, those effects are incredible. Yeah? They're very, very cool. <sighs> Can't wait for people to see that. But... Again, one of the things I love about PlayStation is the big games like Bloodborne and Drive Club are here. We surprise you with Little Big Planet 3. Yeah. I think that kind of came out of nowhere for a lot of people. Yes, um, out of nowhere. Very cool. But then there's all these smaller games. There's Ho Hokum, there's Counter Spy, there's Hell Divers, there's Guns Up. There's just so many different things. And then there's all the indies. Yeah. I mean, it just it doesn't yeah. end. It's a playground for everybody. You it know, is. Whether you're a first party, third party indie, yeah. it doesn't matter. PlayStation is so yeah. welcoming. There's so many different types of They pay you know, me to do this, too. They pay <laughs> me to do this. I don't understand. Amazing. Yeah. So. All right. Well, unfortunately, that is all the time we all have. Right. But thank you so much for joining me. It's always such a pleasure talking with you. PlayStation.